Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in again to another episode of CivilianTacticalWeapons.com. Today's uh, video is actually going to be on the conversion of the Beretta to, uh, now this is actually a Beretta Storm 40 cal, we're going to convert it to accept the uh, Beretta uh, Cougar 96 mags. Um, so we're going to, instead of having the factory, um, these are the factory magazines that come with, which are pretty much 11 shot mags that Beretta sells for the Storms. Uh, what we're going to do is actually convert it to accept the, um, this is actually a um, third party pro mag um, 20 round, 40 round club. Um, so this was actually designed for the Breda 96, however, as you can see, we can't stick the Breda 96 mag in the Beretta Storm as it stands. So what we're going to do is actually going to install the uh, kit, which actually comes from Beretta. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, it's actually very simple. Um, you want to make a decision if you're going to switch to one or the other because it is kind of a pain in the butt to keep switching it back and forth. So um, I would recommend that once you make this conversion, you're probably never going to go back. So um, with that, I'm going to go and show you how to do this. And I uh, hope you find this informative. A few of you have asked about this, so I figured I'd go ahead and show it. So the first thing we need to do is actually take the gun apart. So we're going to go and pull the magazine out the bottom. Empty magazine. Pull the bolt back make sure that it's empty and then break the gun down um, if you own a Beretta you already know I did a breakdown I'm not really covering that in here pull this apart and everything we're going to do is we'll be on the bottom portion right here um, all you'll need is a flathead screwdriver is the only tool you'll need um, actually just about anything kind of uh, get in uh, get into this area if you go ahead and follow this lever all the way down You'll see that right under there is a little, uh, uh, looks like a little bobby pin. And what you do is you pull it, push the bobby pin, get in the, the flathead, push in and pull back a little bit so it pops out. And then what you're gonna do is just fish it out. And this is the piece that you're actually pulling out. Okay. Now what you're gonna do is Pull the magazine release out and then what you're going to do is you're going to come in here and you're going to push on the top um, this will be sitting in there what you do is you'll just take the little flathead to push it forward a little bit and it'll actually uh, kind of remove the little notch here push it forward just a hair and then take your other finger and you can push it straight out the bottom now the easy way to not get yourself confused on these parts is uh, you'll see these parts, the ones that are actually in the Beretta, will say something called Series 8000. So this is the magazine sleeve I'm pulling out, it says Series 8000 right there. The magazine release button also says 8000 on it. Um, 8000 is actually all this, uh, the PX4, CX4 series. So we're taking those out, and what we're going to do is we're going to put in this kit. Now this kit will say for Magazine Series 90, and it'll say caliber 9mm, caliber 40 cal. Um, and then this part here will also say we'll have a 92 on it um, for the magazine release. Even though it's a 40 cal, it still uses the 92. So what you're going to now do is take this uh, magazine sleeve, slide it in through the bottom, and it'll click. It clicks in pretty solid. Look for the piece that has the little uh, V shape on the side of it. And that's the side that actually will stay to the left of the gun. And we'll push this through. Like that. And this is the hardest part, is getting this little guy back in here. And uh, let me show you with the, uh, the parts from the other, so you can see. Uh, what happens is this sits in here and there's two little holes on the top. So when you're looking down the gun, you're gonna see these two little holes. What you want to do is one slot's a little bigger than the other. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this and push it into the slot through the top, get it in just a hair, and then you're going to use the flathead to push up on this side to weasel it in so that's in this little groove. You'll see a groove inside the gun. And then what we're going to do is push it until it goes into the bottom hole. And this creates the tension for the magazine release. Um, and then once it's in here like that, um, it's, it's solid. So. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and get this into the gun. So what you're going to do is follow, follow this little lever all the way down. Get some good light in on top so you can see it. 
Um, I can't actually show you without uh, not being able to see it myself. So I'm going to get some light in here. Come in through the top. So I can see that notch on the left. Take my flathead screwdriver so I can push this into the notch. What you're going to do is use the magazine release and you're going to be pushing the magazine release a little bit left and a little bit right to kind of uh, line it up so you'll see that I'm pushing it left and right to get this adjusted. Now that I got the right side in, I'm going to take the flathead screwdriver and push this spring or I say a little tension clamp push this over to get it into that little groove so there I've got into the little groove and now I'm going to push this magazine release back and forth so I can line the holes up to the bottom of that push this down so that this sits flush under this lever make sure it's in there real good and it's in there. You'll want to go ahead and put the magazine in, make sure it sits. Magazine's good. Push the magazine release, make sure it works. This is actually a Pro Mag 20 rounder I got for the Beretta. Sits in solid. Take the magazine out. What do is go ahead and reassemble the gun. like so and you now have a converted Beretta Storm that actually accepts 20 round mags. Uh, these these uh, Pro mags or other different uh, 20 shot mags they're very inexpensive. Well, I shouldn't say very expensive. They may be a little hard to find but they shouldn't cost you too much. But uh, it allows you to actually have a 20 round mag versus the factory 11s. Um, these you can find uh, fairly easily, at least you can in Texas. Um, what I've just shown you here, I do not know if this is legal in the particular state that you live in. Um, here in Texas, it's, there's nothing illegal about it. But uh, you may want to check with your local uh, state and local governments make sure what I've just shown you here is actually legal. So, Anyways, uh, if you have any questions, please email me at info at civiliantacticalweapons.com. And I hope to see you in a future episode.